of all, today I'm sharing with you six main pieces you can use for the transitioning from summer to fall. Delightful when it's not super cold. So, if you want to see more and the tips and the trick on how to style it, keep on watching. Uh. <laughs> Whenever you are gone, I just wanna be with you. Please don't get. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Salut les amis, bienvenue et bon retour sur ma chaîne. Hola, bienvenue dans la mon canal. Konnichiwa, watashi no channel ni yoko. So today we'll be talking about the main pieces for transition. I was thinking about doing a lookbook, but I was doing my best to focus on the main pieces that I would usually wear for each piece an outfit and how you can get inspiration from that outfit that I'm gonna show to you. The first piece here is gonna be the name, something you wear all year round. I mean summer, fall, winter, whatnot. Usually I don't wear jeans that much for uh, winter because I, I don't feel as warm as if I were to put uh, tights or anything like that. I know a lot of people around me wear jeans during winter and they love it especially here in Canada. Some other like wearing the denim jacket and I'm all about it. Outfit for me represents the perfect way to include and inject some denim, some jeans into your fall wardrobe. There's so many ways to style a pair of jeans. The next piece I'll be talking about for transitioning is the maxi skirts. Maxi skirts for me are just the way to go. What I love the most about maxi skirts is that you can wear over the knee boots. Uh, amazingly gorgeous, it's feminine, it's edgy. However, you're gonna style it. This skirt was something that I got earlier this one as well. The color is just perfect, amazing for fall. A rich dark brown. I paired it with my t shirt because I'm all about t shirt. I mean, I think you know it by now. If you're short or if you don't have a defined waist, you definitely gotta structure your shape a little bit more. I wear something a little bit looser so that when I belt it up, it just cinch my waist a little bit more. It's that illusion of having a much more harmonious silhouette. It's all about playing with the eyes and tricking the eyes a little bit. My t-shirt is my go-to. I got it earlier this one as well. This is so cute. With some flat boots, you're gonna look stumpy for sure. I'm gonna repeat it again for you stay away from any flat shoes when it comes to maxi skirt or long skirts like that I wouldn't suggest you to do it so just just don't do it the next piece I'll be talking about here is gonna be blazers you know my love with blazers I think it's probably the piece that I talk about the most <laughs> No matter if you're edgy, no matter if you're classic, no matter if you're feminine, no matter if you have your own type of style or unique and very original style, I feel like blazers, they're just the thing. Blazers peak volume no matter what you're gonna wear it with. You have a ton of different type of blazers of course. I showed you two examples of how you can inject it into your fall wardrobe. I showed you this one at the beginning of the month as well. I had fun styling a lot of different ways. Not only it screams a chic, it screams elegance but because of the texture, it's not something classic you're gonna find. If you work in a corporate environment, you're kind of more restricted to whatever you're gonna wear. But I feel like if you don't wear a lot of prints, if you keep it solid, then you can play along with the textures a lot more. My blazer, this blazer, this blazer, love this blazer, I love this blazer. The second outfit is all black outfit. This is my thing, this is my game, this is my spices as well. I'm a gothic place. I used to be a a little bit more good back then wear my lace skirt at for centuries now you can wear it underneath a skirt underneath a dress it can create another vibe to anything simple if you want to create layers that's a great way to go because it's almost like something you can wear underneath any type of skirt especially if you're more in the edgy side of it if you were to go to a dressy event a nice nice dress date I'm just saying, I love blazers and I always do my best to style them in such a way where honestly it's just gonna be unexpected. I always try my best to go a little bit further than that and really play along with my creativity here. I just hope it's helpful for you. All about creating magic out of a few pieces. The next piece is gonna be silky dresses. I've talked about silky dresses in my ultimate wardrobe checklist for 2019. If you haven't watched it yet, again the link is gonna be there somewhere above my head. 
becoming that intemporal pieces if you have that curly chic cd vibe like i love to say and call it this is a piece that's gonna go great with you for transitioning to fall mine is this one i got it from zara last year and it's probably the only one that i have so far because honestly i don't need to have a ton of them so you can layer it with a sweater you can have it with a biker jacket you can style it with a denim jacket as well it's up to you to give the tone you want to give to this dress something underneath it as well it has a slit on the side fan enjoy it versatility is key for me and once you master that magic happened next piece here is i wrote it down so clearly you have to guess it hats you know my love with hats ah oh, i love hats this is my signature piece spring uh winter i would use and i would wear berets or any type of bigger hat with uh, leather for example or just something a little bit more dressy even for spring as well got this dress from zara i paired it with uh, a denim jacket and i had my white boots i mean you know my white boots right i mean i hope you i i, I hope you know my white boots i mean haven't talked about my white boots for a while but now that we're coming to fall and winter you're gonna see these white boots a lot more original edgy and something daring it represents how you can use the barrettes and if it's something that you want to include and infuse into your wardrobe your full wardrobe clearly i love barrettes like as made is come back this year it's capes wonderful amazing way to not get the trench or a classic more classic coat but not necessarily get the biker jacket you get the middle ground here already had a cape in my closet i was really surprised to see capes coming back this year when i used to have mine like ages ago and i would still wear it i don't even remember where i bought it from or somewhere in the chinese little store stick to black it because it's gonna be restricted to whatever you're gonna be able to wear it with right okay i style it with my t-shirt again it's gonna be warm but you're not gonna be super covered I style it with my leather pants that i got from h&m it was a great way to mix my textures add some pop to your outfit even if you want to stay monochromatic i hope you liked it i hope you adored it i hope it was helpful for you let me know what did you learn the best about it what are your go-to pieces when it comes to fall and how you would best style them to my channel turn on the notification button just sign as simple as that right is it i know i hope right for the time being i have my last two videos full of inspiration tips tricks styling lookbook everything like that so on my instagram i have speaking french whenever i can could be a good way for you to learn french if you want to just sign the gros bisous j'espère que vous avez aimé cette vidéo laissez moi savoir quel était votre meilleur look et c'est quoi pièce favorite quand on parle de l'automne donc euh, je vous vois pour ma prochaine vidéo je vous fais de gros bisous encore une fois I'm sending you a lot of kisses muchos besos and like I say all the time smile because it's free and contagious bye Jenny.